so this is tip number 10 of our top 12 tips for the interactive links whiteboard and we're going to be looking at using some of the backgrounds the graphs and plotting a line graph on here and how quickly and easily you can do it so first thing i'm going to do go down to our content because i want to put a background on go into our backgrounds and i'm going to just use the squares so you can see I've quickly just dropped it in. I can adjust the size of them if I so wish by using a slider here. That size should be okay. And I can change the color of them as well if I want to, to whichever color I wanted there. So now that I've got my background on for my tiles, I now need to plot my axes on here. Now for this, I'm going to use the line tool so if I go into my pen tools, I've got the line here. And again, you can choose the size, the width, and the color of your line. So I'll pop a line down there and I will do another one just across there. Okay, so it might be that we're plotting the number of children that are in school or what people have had for dinner. Um, but this time I'm just going to use another pen. And I'll use the ink pen. I could use the text recognition pen if I wanted to. So for example, down here, I might have the days of the week. So I might have Monday. I might have then Tuesday and then Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. And just say it's a little moment for it to pick that up. You can change those around and move those into place as well, wherever you would like them to go. So just a little bit of tweaking there. Um, and then I might even use, I could use the mass recognition pen again, or I could just use the normal ink pen. And I might have the numbers going up the side. So for example, I might go up in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it might be the number of people who are off school or in school. Now with our line tool, if I go back to here for our graph, I can either have a curve or an elbow. So what you'll see is it looks, I do my line, it just looks like that straight line. However, when I go and click on it and click on the little elbow there, I can add additional points. So at the moment, I've got one, two, three points on. I'm gonna just add another two points on there. And now what I can do, I can plot that to wherever I want. So it might be that on Monday, there were two children absent. Or on Tuesday, there might have been four. Wednesday, there might have been three. Might have just had one absent. And then on Friday, I don't know what happened on Friday, but we had five absent. So you can see really quickly, we can plot that graph. If you want to change it from the elbow graph, if I go back on and click on it, I can very quickly and easily change it to be a curved diagram. So it shows it more in that flow there as well. And that's how easily you can create and plot your grids using Link's whiteboard. Top tip 10.